It's one thing about the NFL. There's not a lot of room for error. Your season can be over before it really gets started. And as a Detroit Lions fan, I know that better than any other team. We are used to talking about the NFL draft uh, in week four. But since the arrival of Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, and Sheila Hemp taking over, we have had a resurgence, if you will, of success and it feels good but I remember what it's like to be at the bottom and it doesn't take long or much for you to kind of plummet back to earth and be at the bottom of the league yet again with that being said the trade deadline is less than three weeks away the NFL after some discussion made a smart move in my opinion and pushed it back one week so last year it was actually the last day of October October 31st four o'clock and I believe that was in week eight and the league kind of complained and the owners, not the league, but the owners complained or kind of voted for it to be pushed back one week. And that's exactly what they did. And I think that was a brilliant idea. And it's going to make things even more interesting, this trade deadline. With that being said, let's take a look at trade deadline sellers. As you guys know, Aiden Hutchinson has been lost for the season. He was the Detroit Lions' best pass rusher. Not only did he lead our team in sacks, pressures, and hurries, he also led the league and was on route to Defensive Player of the Year. So get Will Hutch, man. We miss you, and we'll see you stronger and better than ever next year. We are in need of a pass rusher, and there's a lot of pass rushers I've been looking at, and not surprisingly, all of them, most of them are coming from these teams that will potentially be trade deadline sellers. So let's look at the potential trade deadline sellers for the 2024 season. The Cleveland Browns are first on the list. I guess we'll look at like the, the worst 10 teams. Right now, the Cleveland Browns are the worst team in the NFL the New England Patriots, the Carolina Panthers, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the New York Jets. They just traded for Devontae Adams. They're probably going to trade away Mike Williams. So they are now the fifth worst team in the NFL, but they're trying to make a run. It is still early. Some of these teams can dig themselves out of the hole. The Vegas Raiders, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Arizona Cardinals, the New Orleans Saints, the New York Giants, and we'll stop at the Tennessee Titans because I think – as we go forward, we will kind of these will thin out a little bit. Teams that I don't think are really going to go anywhere. I don't think the Browns, the Patriots, the Panthers, the Jaguars, the Raiders, the Saints, the Giants, and the Titans. I think there's hope for the Cardinals. It really depends. There's hope for the Raiders. Maybe, uh, maybe I said them. I don't know. There's hope for the Jets. That's who it is. The Raiders are done. They have no quarterback. They, they just traded away their best offensive weapon. They're done. It's just a matter of playing out the year. So who would, in my opinion, be the best or the biggest sellers on this list? Well, the Browns have already started by trading away Amari Cooper. There's a few other guys on that list as well. I think one of the big names is probably Zadarius Smith. The New England Patriots, they're kind of in a rebuild mode. I'm not sure they are trying to sell, but they very well could be. Same with the Panthers. I think the Jacksonville Jaguars are a huge seller on this list. You, you've had names like Trayvon Walker. I've even heard the potential of Josh Hines Allen, who just signed a massive five-year deal with them in April. $125 million. I've even heard his name come up a bit. Then you have the Jets, the Bengals the Cardinals, the Saints, the Giants, and the Titans. All right, I'm going to pick my biggest three sellers from this list. My number one biggest seller would be the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think they are going to, Harold Landry is a guy that I'm looking at to potentially replace, not replace because you can't replace him, but help alleviate some of the stress that is going to be on our team by the loss of Aiden. So I would say the Jacksonville Jaguars are number one. I'm going to say that the Cleveland Browns are number two and the Tennessee, oh, the Tennessee Titans hero is, is on this team. I'm sorry, Tennessee Titans. I was thinking Tennessee, but looking at Jacksonville here. So in this order, I think it's going to be Jacksonville, Tennessee and Cleveland. The Tennessee Titans play the Jacksonville Jaguars and vice versa. Jacksonville, you have quite a few guys like, like we talked about Heinz Allen. I don't think he's an option. But Trayvon Walker very well could be. Rookie year deal. 
He could be a steal of a pass rusher, and it depends on how far the Jags seem that like they're going to go. Not some other guys on that team as well that could be gone, but just throwing some names out there. So my biggest trade deadline sellers would be the Cleveland Browns, Jacksonville Jaguars, Tennessee Titans. The Cincinnati Bengals are a fun one to watch because they are a team that Always start slow since the it seems like for the past five, six years, they start slow. They make a run. The issue is they play the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've already got one loss against the Baltimore Ravens, and it's only going to be one team in that division that goes to the playoffs. So it really depends on where the Cincinnati Bengals at. How many pieces do they have? I mean, they could potentially trade T Higgins, try to get something for him. They got to pay Jamar next year. They could, but the guy that I'm looking at is Trey Hendrickson, which is. Not a surprise, but seeing as how he is their sack leader, the Cincinnati Bengals have eight sacks on the season, and Trey has five of them. But he wanted to be traded in the offseason. They didn't do it. They, he has one year left of his deal, so they could try to leverage him this year, or I could see it next year. It really depends on where they are record-wise because his value will go down next year. But if they think they can really compete with this thing, and seeing as how the Ravens have kind of came out of nowhere after starting 0-2 and now lead that division at 4-2, four-game winning streak, it's really going to come down to the last three weeks, the next three weeks. And all of the the Cincinnati Bengals have three games, so I, I think that that's probably a team that you want to watch for. I know we've talked about this before, but let's see what their schedule is because I think that this is one of the teams that – it could go either way at this point in the season. So this Sunday, they have the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> so there you go with that. So Cleveland will probably be one and six after this. Then the Philadelphia Eagles and then the Las Vegas Raiders. So I see the Cincinnati Bengals probably going. They could go three and oh, they could also go two and one, which if they go two and one, that puts them at four and five at the trade deadline. When they and then after that they play the Baltimore Ravens, who beat them already. They could very well beat the Baltimore Ravens. They could go three and one in this stretch and be five and five heading into the middle of November. So Trey Hendrickson might becoming be becoming less of an option for the Detroit Lions for which is a guy I've been looking at for a while. So let me know who you think the biggest trade deadline sellers will be. I am looking forward to your comments in the comment section below. You guys are awesome, man. I will catch you in the next video.